Hello and welcome guys. Welcome to the new chapter which we'll be focusing on fixing some serious SEO issues. So let's start with the first issues we have which is your site not showing up in Google. First, to make sure you have followed the right step and did your report, we suppose you already have a Google Webmasters account. So sign into it and make sure you submit your sitemap and make sure that there are pages that Google indexed. If you need help with that, you can go back to the previous chapter where we demonstrated it specifically. Now, what if you did that but still your site isn't showing up? Here are some tips. Number one, wait. Yes, wait. Sometimes all it takes for your site to show up is just a little bit of time. It might take a week or two or in some cases a month. So just don't expect your website to immediately appear. But if you waited and it still didn't show up, then proceed to the next step. The no index tag. Make sure you only add the no index tags to the pages that you want to exclude. A lot of people add this tag and forget about it on their website's code. If this tag is included, it literally tells the crawlers to not crawl this page. So don't expect your website to magically appear while it's already forbidding Google to do its job. So be careful of this. Now number three, use lower competition keywords. You might be using very high competition keywords that actually your website has been indexed in Google's database, but unfortunately you're not even appearing in their ranking because of the insignificant huge amount of people who are using the same keywords. This will eventually make your website disappear from the ranking or it may not even appear at all. So make sure to not use high competition keywords. Number four, Google's quality guidelines. Make sure you follow Google's quality guidelines because if you don't, Google might remove your website on purpose because you're providing content that could be against the law or the conditions of Google. So make sure you carefully read and understand the quality guide guidelines so you can write content that meets its criteria. So these were the most suitable tips that we should be giving you if you haven't found your website listed on Google. So just follow them carefully and hopefully your website will be listed and you'll get a suitable ranking. So good luck with that. Hello guys, today we're going to talk about the second issue you could be facing during your SEO experience, which is your rankings dropping fast. This is something that you'll probably encounter at some point in your trials. And that's why we are here to help you avoid it and even get over it if you faced it. So let's see what you can do. Number one, undo changes. Undo any recent changes because sometimes you might apply small changes to your website or certain pages such as adding or removing links, editing your content such as removing text or images, or even manipulating the keywords themselves. So any change you apply to your website, you have to undo it because there's a huge possibility that it's the reason behind your rankings dropping fast. But if that still doesn't work out for you, you might try the next tip. Fresh content. Make sure your content is still fresh and new. If you neglect your articles and posts, they may not really age well with time and they might even start losing traffic and clicks. That's why you have to constantly care about every single page on your website and even update its content to suit the changes happening every day online because the internet place is such a fast paced environment. So you have to be very active. Else, you'll leave a chance to your competitors to outrank you and this is something we're definitely trying to avoid. We're even trying to get ahead of the competition, so be careful of that. And number three, Google updates. Make sure you check every Google update because being able to keep up with every single new Google update is something that can prevent any rankings drop. Because if you don't, Google may release a new algorithm that can hit your website and eventually penalize you. And that's going to be the reason behind you falling back in the rankings. So make sure you follow all the SEO news online and generally speaking, make sure your website doesn't have any technical issues or user experience problems. Because these are what Google updates focus on the most and we already talked about this in the previous video. And that's pretty much it. If you follow these three tips, then you can safely guarantee that you won't be hit by any update or a competitor and that your ranking should either be stable or even better, start increasing. 
So good luck and make sure you follow these tips. Thank you guys. Welcome guys to the final video in this chapter and today we'll be talking about the last serious issue that a lot of people faced in the past and you might still face in the future. So the issue is getting penalized by Google Penguin. While well, we already explained what it is and how to protect yourself from it, sometimes it's too late to say that and all you're really thinking about is making your website recover from the hit. That's why we're here to help, so let's start. Number one, check your links. For the penguin to penalize you if you're a good website and if you're sure that you're providing fresh content and you meet all the conditions we talked about, then there's really one way to put it. It's your links. That's why our main tip here is to check all of your links and add good backlinks. There's a high potential that you got penalized because your website is linked to bad website, whether the link is of outreach type or organic type. And the most important thing is to make a list of all those links using Google Webmasters and then start checking which ones are potentially harmful or spammy. Then start devaluing these links one by one until your website only contains good backlinks. And you can do that within Google Webmasters tools by the URL remover link tool. And that's really it. The only things that you may not be in control of are the other websites that link to you, of course. So the harm could definitely be coming from them. And that's why you have to remove those links immediately before they start affecting your rankings real hard. And like that, we have successfully covered most of the problems that you could encounter during your SEO experience. We hope you have found them useful and wait for our new video in the next chapter. So please stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go to technicforce.com for more tools and training.